And the good thing is, I actually have talked to an attorney, and he says that what Keemstar did do about me is actionable. But I've been through it, and I and I it's just not worth it. You know what I mean? Mm. It's not worth it. But I, I but if he wanted to go as far as to sue us, then I would definitely. <laughs> Once we're there, I would, of course, sue him for defamation, which actually is, it actually is defamation. Ah, it's just, this is Keemstar trying to sue me for defamation. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, You're I just get so hypocrite. fired up by what a <laughs> idiot he is. And he's just so eager to try to prove how in control and everything. And I mean, he really, this is Keemstar really at the end of the day. <laughs> I mean, dude, the guy is such a fucking loser. It's it's hard to even fathom. And how he surrounds himself with all these kids that just, like, uh, not... I mean, dude, dude did a podcast from inside someone's closet talking about how he's going to sue me. I mean, Jesus, man. But anyway, I'm the number one supporter of cancel culture. Uh, say that again? You're coming in quiet. But I'm the number one supporter of cancel culture. Oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. Huh. I mean, dude, that's literally all you do. If you could just sue someone based on damages, you would be you would be obliterate, obliterated. What are you saying? <laughs> what I'm saying is that is that I welcome you to try to sue me, Keemstar. I mean, prove come it. at come prove at it. me. Prove yeah. it. Yeah, prove it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I love how he goes. I've got three lawyers. I've got a whole legal team working around the clock. Maybe you should look into what I'm saying because you might be getting ripped off, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we'll need a retainer of $20,000 a month. I'm going to take your kid's college fund, and it's making me happy. Okay. Cool. Well, I welcome you to try to to that. Yes. Go fuck yourself, you little hustling little bitch. Okay, <laughs> calm down, Keemstar. We're just having, trying to have a civil debate. You know, I love how he goes, I'm taking the Teddy Fresh. It reminds me of Matt Haas. He said the same thing. <laughs> He literally said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Matt Haas goes, I'm taking your YouTube channel. That's what he said to us. I'm taking your YouTube channel. It's going to be called, I'm going to own H3H3 Productions now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you might want to hook up with him, Keem. He has good experience trying to sue us. I'm literally going to take the Teddy Fresh away. I think he would be, I think it would be in good hands. I think he'd be a really good designer <laughs> based on the evil acts that... <laughs> Uh, I'm the merch. fucking bad guy. Yes, keeps her. That's what I'm trying to say. He's finally talking sense. <laughs> anyway. And and I do want to make one final point on Keemstar. Since I'm here, I haven't talked about them in so long. So indulge me, if you would, please, Eli. I know you're, this isn't your cup of tea. <laughs> but because Keemstar is so anti-platforming, deep, sorry, Keemstar is so anti-de-platforming, he's such a free speech warrior. And everyone should be able to do and say whatever they want, even if that includes uh, making death threats against somebody. I would like to draw your attention to one video of Keemstar talking to a, I used to go a man name named Britt Bong. Bong. In fact, I'll let this video speak for itself. And just remember, if Keemstar's channel ever does get banned, just play him this video. Well, this is a great one. I, I think you guys will enjoy this. I used to go by the name Britbong Returns, but at the moment I go by Mr. BTFO. Mainly I had to change my name because people were literally non-stop trying to flag me down. I've had people targeting me, impersonating me, trying to get into my accounts and go after me and my family. And partially some of this is due to Keemstar. Because I made a video on one of his friends, he went after me big time. I have been like fucking with you non-stop, taking down your Twitches, taking down your Twitters. Taking down every social media platform you have, Can you Mr. Turn it up a Bong. Bit? And uh, I've been owning you. He went after everything. He went after anything that I could make money online. Tried to get me taken off stream me when he owed a percentage. He went after my Twitter, my YouTube, my Twitch. And I was doing really well on all of these, by the way. He is just nonstop had people going after me. I mean, Keemstar himself in this video admits to going after my finances, anywhere I can make money. He's taken down my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube multiple times, and... I am your god. And I mean that. That I'm sounds your... healthy. <laughs> I am your god. Fucking god. Because anything you create, I fucking destroy like that. And I've been doing it over and over and over and over again. But he was going after mm. my family as well. 
All because I exposed people that he didn't want exposed. Angry grandpa's son who kept monetizing his dad's death consistently. And people wanted to make videos on the guy, but they have been too scared to. I've tried to tell multiple YouTubers about this. I've tried to send them the clip. They don't give a shit because I'm not relevant anymore. All right, your Twitter's gone. Your fucking uh, Twitch's gone. Your YouTube channel, gone. So hold on, let me, let me get something clear. Leafy was banned on YouTube, but he still has accounts elsewhere. So is that deplatforming? Mm, it's not full deplatforming. No, I mean. So what do you call it when you when you are celebrating the removal of someone from Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and every platform? What do you call that? Deplatforming. That's what it's called. It's called deplatforming. Also, I would like to note that he is celebrating. He is gro groveling in his victory. Yes, Keemstar, the champion of free speech. I am untouchable, <laughs> but you are not. You've lost everything. You live with your mom and dad, all right? Live with your mom and dad and make no money because every little outlet that you had to make a few bucks is shut down by me. And I'm going to continue doing it over and over and over He's so again. Desperate for because control. I... He's got a fetish for like power and control. It's creepy as fuck. Is this video so creepy? I feel like this really gives you a glimpse into the kind of dude he is. I mean, the dude doesn't stand for anything. Like he just did a whole episode with Leafy about how. <sighs> what does it mean? Deplatforming? Oh, you didn't deserve it. You don't stand for anything about what other than what benefits you because how can that same dude go on and say this to someone else? Mm -hmm. It's literally incompatible. Have something you don't have. I have friends that work at Twitter. Friends. That's literally what he accuses me of. That work at Twitch. Friends that work at YouTube. That's literally what he accuses me of that he's openly saying. Is it because that's what he does so he assumes other people are like that too right you know but why is it that i am somehow george soros of youtube and and people just it's crazy the pass he gets by the from the commentary community who's just super they just they somehow just don't they're afraid of him yeah yeah i yeah i right but like dude he literally is always accusing me I mean, his whole conspiracy theory is that I got Leafy's video shut down because I took a picture with Susan once, like, two or three years ago. Which I'll never understand. All these people that think that you got Leafy's <coughs> video removed, if you had that power, why wouldn't you do that to Keem? You fucking hate Keem a thousand yeah. times more than Leafy. Oh, that's for sure. And, Le <laughs> so, and by the way, I do like, want to say... about Leafy? I do want to say for the record that I was really not bothered by Leafy's meme. It didn't bother me. I, I swear to God, you may not believe me, but... I, I, I totally just thought, it's fine. I mean, it's fine. He can do that. It's fine. The meme. Yeah. Oh, and then the meme had transformed, too, where people were like, I'd like to see Leafy uh, over at my house for tea. Like, people were just turned it into this whole crazy meme where it took all these different turns and stuff. And it took on a life of its own, and that's fine. Uh, Keemstar is is a evil fu well you know my thing is that i think keemstar just totally used and abused and disposed of leafy so yeah keemstar's a piece of shit and he's just a total fucking hypocrite in the worst way possible i am fucking untouchable but you are not and the proof that you're not untouchable is all your accounts that have been shut down for the last couple months and i'm gonna start fucking with your boys too untouchable remember that untouchable brit bong untouchable you can't do shit to me but i've done a lot to you. when i say i'm going to fucking own you i need it because i've done it over and over and over again i've done it all summer bro where's your twitter so where's your twitch where's your youtube they're gone i'm gonna keep fucking with you i've been in internet wars before you were even on the internet kid you're a fucking rookie no one cares. I get banned. No one tells people that I've been banned. No one... Is that it? I know there was more... Yeah, I guess that's it. So that's... So, I mean, again, the dude doesn't give a shit about deplatforming. He'll do it to anybody else. You know what I mean? Same thing with the whole thing about how... I can't believe you went after my sponsors. I mean, you were doing... You've always done that. <laughs> I mean, and then J Station. It's like, okay, everyone says, yeah, I know nobody likes Leafy, but, like, do we really want to... 
to uh, get rid. Here's, uh, I mean, Keepstar. YouTube needs to delete this channel. <laughs> Stop J Station. Once again, the biggest fucking f hypocrite. Just, uh, I, I mean, it's beyond hypocrisy. It's just plain sociopathy. It's pure. He st he stands for literally nothing. And what was the J Station that was over him faking his girlfriend's <laughs> death? He, he dude, J Station was a fucking dumpster fire, dude. He did all kinds of crap. Right. He faked his girlfriend's death. He did Ouija boards with people who just passed away. I mean, he's a shitty dude. Right. Yeah. But again, doesn't the same logic apply to J Station as it does to Leafy? Of course. If you're really a free speech absolute, like if that, if this is what it is, then this is what it is. But no. I'm the fucking bad guy. This is from six months ago. Is that right? Who took this? Is this really from six months ago? I think so. Six months ago. This isn't even that old. He was for deplatforming J Station six months ago, you guys. Do you see <laughs> how substanceless this man is? He stands for nothing. Garbage. Garbage. Holy crap, I can't believe that was just six months ago. I thought he'd be like, yeah, I was old, I changed my mind. Like he did about the, uh, that one clip of him trying to get this one team's sponsors canceled. Mm -hmm. He goes, it was old, it was different back then. February 4th, 2020. Yeah, this video. just happened. Um, Oops. Yeah. Here he is talking about Jay Station. Let's see what he says. Miller Spirit Box Challenge at 3 a.m. Yeah. speaks about Ariana Grande. Yeah, That's awesome. right. J Station uploaded a fake video pretending that he was talking I'm to Matt. I'm going to pretend to actually be outraged by anything. I have no feelings or emotions, though. Literally just trying to pretend so that I can act, try, so that you think that I'm a human being. Mac Miller and Mac Miller was saying, tell Ariana I love her. And again, why was he not canceled? Because he has children, fans, children watching. Oh my god, I'm, I'm drowning in irony, dude. In fact, he's <laughs> setting such me? a bad example to these children. <laughs> Recently, Kobe Bryant just passed away, and one of J Station's fans decided to upload his own video of calling Kobe oh, Bryant. Oh, so wait, hold on. You're holding him responsible for what his fans do? Mm, interesting. <laughs> I mean, what the... <laughs> Guys, do you not see at what a fucking With a video empty titled, Calling Kobe Bryant at 3 a.m., Oh my God, he actually answered he's alive. And actually, a couple months ago, J Station uploaded another video, and you're going to think this, this is, is fake, greatest. but this is on YouTube. This is real, mm -hmm. and there were no consequences to this. J Station uploaded this video titled, I Bought a Slave Off the Dark Web, and I Finally Unmasked the Slave off the dark web and to make matters worse the so-called slave he bought on the dark web is a black gentleman this uh oh keemstar don't get me started about race i'm not a democrat well that's for sure oh here's another one what is this Ian? and i know other trying to cancel shane dawson let's see youtube creators are deathly afraid that this is going to cause another ad apocalypse so we're just, we're just hoping that YouTube can somehow do something to like fix this or have some accountability for some of this stuff that happened on their platform. What? Because quite frankly, YouTube taking Shane's apology and putting it on number one trending doesn't really look that good for YouTube. Not gonna lie. Moving on, moving on. This was, um, this video was from two months ago of him begging YouTube to hold Shane responsible. I mean, dude, you are <laughs> literally empty inside. You are for deplatforming people you don't like. You are for removing sponsors from people you don't like whenever it benefits you. And then you'll, you'll act like this perfect fucking uh, victim, this perfect martyr for all of those things. I mean, hypocrisy doesn't even describe what you are.